Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 31 of Forgecraft, where I'm playing with Pneumatocraft a whole bunch. Uh, I just did a little bit of setting up um, right here. I've added some crafting patterns to a chest, and we set it up so that this thing outputs into an interface, which is, you know, connected up and ready to go. And then I did a similar thing over here for our assembly controller, right? I have a chest and an interface for importing. So what I'd like to do is test, test, if we can make the full printed circuit board with all the bits, right? So a printed circuit board is the end result of all the things going together, right? So if we can make this, we will know that we've done a good job, right? So I think that is cool. I think that is cool. Hello. Sweet, empty PCB. Did I hook you up to uh, refined storage things? I didn't, see? I mean, this is why we test, because Dyer forgets to do things. To much hilarity. All right, now you're online and everything's importing. Beautiful, beautiful. And then printed circuit boards should happen out here. Right? It says running. Oh yeah, look, it's working. Beautiful. The printed circuit board's happening. That's cool. That's cool. Nice. And then he's gonna, I rearranged the layout of this thing so that he would be able to insert into the interface here. And I did hook that one up to a cable. So now we should have no problem. We should have a printed circuit board. And we do. Nice, nice. So with that going, um, that is awesome. I mean, we have a, we have like 25 of them, right, to be fair. Um, but still, it's nice to have a little bit of automation. Today, what I was aiming to do um, is probably look at, and this is probably not going to be super great because lag, right? I mean, how's our TPS? Ugh, horrible. Ah, we. This is probably not going to be super great on account of lag. Also, by the way, I changed this up. I made these repeaters so that when the pressure drops a little bit, we um, we don't have it toggling on and off so much, and it's actually working really well, uh, which is cool. So we've got manual shut off and then repeaters to make it not toggle back and forth so much. Uh, I've not paid any attention to my antimatter. I've kind of kind of paused on that. The other thing I haven't also paid attention to is um, my power. I have no idea how we are on power. We're at 23 billion RF, so we're fine, I would say. I would say we're fine. I would say we're fine. We've got enough power to hold us over for a little bit. A comical amount of power, if you will. Um, so what we're gonna do is check out drones, right? So there's several types of drone, and then there's also a charging station, which will also help. So like, what I'm gonna do is hook up the charging station right there. Um, so you can see how like the, the redstone thing is going on, right? So when the pressure drops, it, it, the flux compressor stays on for a few ticks before it gets turned off, right? So when the pressure hits the right spot, the flux compressor stays on to keep the pressure up a little bit. And I think that that's working out pretty smoothly. Honestly, I do. Um, but now we have the, the charging station here, which is going to have a decent amount of pressure in it. Let's bump this guy up, actually. Let's make him... Let's make him like 19.5 and 19.2, 19.3, that should be cool, right? So right in that 19.3 to 19.5 um, butter zone, and that'll just have like a really nice stable amount of pressure ready for us to use. I think that sounds cool, right? Um, yeah, that should be fine. And then just like before, we still have the advanced pressure tube here that's doing a good job of limiting. So in this side of things, we have 4.9 bars, which is all that most of these machines on this line can handle. Machines on that line will be for high pressure. But like I said, I don't know if there's a lot that does do high pressure, right? So we'll probably have some initial toggling on and off, but it doesn't look bad. It actually looks like it's working pretty well, right? Because he, he, was, he was configured to turn off at 19.3. He's at 19.46. So we got a little bit of a buffer uh, before the redstone signal hit, which I think is cool. Yeah, that's working beautifully. Let's look at programming drones. 
Um, cause I would like to check out all the drones that are available. So I think what I'm going to do is teach you how to do each of the drones and their prerequisite components. And then you, I'm going to teach the pressure chamber way. Cool. So the pressure chamber is this chest right here. And then everything else goes into a crafter, right? And that should be good times. And then we also have a harvesting drone, which needs beetroot or, you know, whatever. Mm, do we have um, nether wart? Yeah, we do have nether wart. I think I'd rather, I'd rather you teach it that way. Do nether wart because I actually have some of that. That sounds cool. And then there's also a guard drone, which I mean, yeah, let's try it out. Why not? Why not? And then a collector drone, which looks cool. So long story short, the reason that I taught this thing how to make this and this is because I knew I would need so many of them for all the drones that I want to check out. So that's the plan for today. Check out one of each drone. So we definitely want a logistics drone to understand how that works. We're going to want a harvesting drone. We're going to want a guard drone. Ah, we're missing a sword. That's okay. Uh, we will just make one by hand. I don't think we're going to need a lot of guard drones right uh but we'll find out and then uh the drone drone i don't know what the difference is and the collector drone cool and that'll be one of each uh and hopefully they all you know do the thing we'll find out i can hear things happening i can hear it so we'll let that we'll assume that everything's going to behave itself and then meanwhile with new Craft, if i remember correctly there's some these things right logistics request frame i should probably add these recipes too Right, so we're gonna want you, and we're gonna want you, and we're out of patterns. Cool. Excellent. Sulfur dust, huh? That's an that's an interesting one. So I think frames are gonna be important from Pneumatic Craft. Right, so I'd rather you be the dandelion yellow if I can. Do we not have any of that? Do we have sulfur? I thought we had sulfur. Didn't we have something making sulfur? We do have something making sulfur down here. Uh, it's you. So yeah, we'll stick with sulfur dust. Because I mean, we kind of have it already set up, right? We already got it going. It's already good. So with that said, we will stick with the sulfur dust for that pattern. Uh, logistics default. And then logistics passive provider. And logistics active provider. So we're going to have to know how to make purple dye. And we might need to know how to make blue dye and whatnot, but we'll find out. So a whole logistics system with drones, it does sound kind of cool. It does sound kind of cool, right? I like that plan. I like that plan. Um, so let's let's see if we can get you know one of these and one of these and one of these and one of these and one of these. Beautiful. And you get eight per craft, right? Which is good times. Do do. Doot, doot. Do I feel like I'm missing one? One, two, three, four, five. No, that's it. That's it. And then we'll have a bunch of chests and we'll see how this whole logistics drone system works out. So let's get drones on here. And it looks like we are in the process of crafting still the regular drone and the collector drone. Why are you stuck? So collector drone, crafting for those scheduled 12 of these, processing stored cancel all and then we'll check out that guy in a sec you're not giving me any trouble over here right buddy you behaving i know you're new i know you're new to the party with all the you know with all the things you're new so you don't super understand how everything works but you should be 
mostly behaving at this point. Unless I did something wrong. But I don't think I did. Why do you think that you're still crafting something that you're not actually crafting? I did the this thing, right? Why, run gold to redstone. So why do you have redstone in there? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, there's like extra redstone, but not enough gold. That's interesting. There's lots of redstone left in there. What are you doing to me, Smalls? Huh. Yeah, I'll have to figure out why that happened. Oh, Neptune's telling me there was a bit of a recipe bug with the chamber. So maybe there's a few recipe derps in there. Maybe JEI is not showing the actual recipe or something. I don't know. But if we look now, we should have our drone, maybe? Maybe not? Bueller? Bueller? All right, there's your collector drone. And then I want to check out the basic drone, whatever that's all about. Cool. Okay. So let's start with the logistics drone, because that's probably the one I'll understand the most. And if we want, we can look at the new Metacraft book. Hopefully the manual doesn't crash me today. Uh, drones, logistics. The logistics overview, logistics drones, and logistics frames. Um... Do we have other drones? Drone programming. Oh, the programmer. Oh, that's neat. So the programmer still exists, which is cool. Look, the programmer is still a thing. So that's neat. So the, the whole drone programming mechanic still exists in here, which is cool, which is super cool, right? Man, look at all this stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna wanna, maybe. So I think that's how you would do normal drones, right? I think that's how you would do normal drones, right? Um, but let's start with logistics drones, and we'll start with that one. So that's the blue guy. So I'm gonna put the, that's the guard drone. I'm not gonna do much with guard. We have one to play with, but red is your logistics one, right? So we'll put them in, manage upgrades for the logistics drone. Oh, you don't say. Look at this. You can insert upgrades into the drone. Ooh, open up other tabs to see which enhancements can be done. Ooh. Uh, for each volume upgraded, the drone's air volume will be increased. This could be useful for long journeys. For each speed upgrade inserted, the movement speed of the drone is increased by 10% of its base speed. With the magnet upgrade inserted, the drone will automatically pick up nearby items if it has free inventory space. The base range is two blocks, increasing by one block per inserted upgrade. Nice. Nice. With item life upgrades inserted, the drone will be able to auto repair at a small air cost. The more upgrades you insert, the faster the repair and the higher the air cost. Security upgrade. With one security upgrade inserted, the drone can operate within fluids. With two upgrades, fluids around the drone will be temporarily displaced away. With three or more upgrades, fluids will be permanently removed. The drone will never willingly enter lava regardless of security upgrades. One or more security upgrades will also provide drones with protection from electrical damage from insulating immersive engineering wire. This also comes with an air cost proportional to the damage negated. That's cool. Standby upgrade. When inserted, the drone will go into standby mode when idle, saving air. Don't forget, the drones will take fall damage, so care is advised. All of this sounds cool. All of this sounds cool. And I would like to know more. Um, so how are you doing? You are just taking a million and a half years um, to do the things. So maybe I want to, like, make some more speed. What is going on? No, 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 no. Excuse me, gentlemen. What do you think this is? There's no village here. Look, there's no village here. What do what you... No. 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 They're agreeing with me. Look, they're like, yeah, you're right, Dyer. We agree. There's no village here. All right, look, I mean, if this is what we want to do... I don't even have, like, a decent sword, because I'm not... I ain't here for this. I'll take you on with my fists if I need to. Look how many of them there are, too. 
I'm just like, yep, we're all here, Dyer. Where did you even come from? I mean, yeah, this would be a good time to break out the guard drone, but, I mean, I wasn't ready. Couldn't you guys have waited a few minutes? Thank you. Please don't come again. Unacceptable. Um, do we have some more speed upgrades? We don't really. They're annoyingly expensive to craft, speed upgrades. I will give, I will give them that. Um, but what I can do is snag a few, and then if I... I believe if I put speed upgrades in here, um, charge and discharge faster, right? So that will just... Now we'll just process that a little bit quicker, right? That would be that would be nice. I mean, I can I can always bum a few speed upgrades from these guys too. Uh, but I think you know a full complement will have this guy filling up nice and quick, which is cool. But yeah, the main thing I want to check out is logistics room, right? That's the main thing because you know Dyer and his logistics systems. That may or may not be a spoiler alert. Uh, logistics storage frame. Stores items from a logistics network provided by a logistics active provider. Um, logistics active provider. Provides items to a logistics network. Provides to both requester frames and storage frames. Okay. Logistics passive provider. Provides items to the logistics network only. Provides to requester frames. So let's do that. I like that. That's cool. Right? And we're gonna put like dirt in here, for example. And then over here, you're going to be a requester frame. And then how do we how do we con how do we configure you? Do I need the, the wrenchy dude? Do I need the wrenchy dude? That would be my first guess. Where's my pneumaticraft wrench? Because I had one of those too. I had a pneumaticraft wrench. Didn't I have one? Did I, I, didn't, I didn't think I put it in here. Nope. You guys can have this thing if you want. Um, what did I do with my pneumaticraft wrench? I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain I made a pneumaticraft wrench. I'm almost certain I made one of these. But if I didn't, then that's just Dyer being a derp. Oh, we need Dandelion Yellow for this, unless we happen to have one of those. No, of course, why would we? We don't have one of these laying around, do we? I think Soren might have uh, colorful, flowery things, right? I'm almost certain he does. Yes. All right, there we go. Wrench. This would be my guess. I'm strictly guessing. I'm strictly guessing, but it's within the realm of possibility that this is... Oh. Not what I wanted to do. There we go. Do the thing. Wee! All the pressure. See? Beautiful, right? Loving it. All right, so potentially... Okay, now I need to read the book because I don't know how the logistics frames work. Uh, logistics network. Uh, overview. Uh, offers an interesting way to transport items and fluids and to keep inventories and tanks stocked. Inventories and tanks can be marked with logistics frames, attachable gadgets which control how items and fluids should be moved in and out of those blocks. Those inventories are then connected with logistics drones or pressure tubes with logistics modules attached. That I didn't know. That I didn't know. Logistic system is heavily inspired by Factorio, and if you've played that game, the concepts will be familiar. The primary difference is that this mod provides frames to attach to existing inventories and tanks rather than separate logistics chests. Um, okay. Logistics frames are attachable gadgets which are placed in inventories, blah, blah, blah. Place frames can be configured by right-clicking with a logistics configurator and removed by shift right-clicking with the configurator. Oh, it's a different thing. Okay. Configurator. Oh, it's there's another wrench for it. Okay, cool. So that looks uh, similar. Well, there you go. Now we know. Today we learned. Boop, a doop, boop. Boop, boop. Sweet. In before server crash, indeed. All right, so right click this guy and now we can do it.
Turn the logistics frame invisible. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at the nice like, little fade effect in. The fade in and out effect. I have a similar problem with that rendering thing, by the way. I know exactly what's causing that. Well, ish. Sweet. Filter settings. Ah, durability NBT mod ID. Sweet. Facing west. I think this is the side that the frame inventory will be accessed by drones. Cool. Uh, minimum items, minimum fluid for order sizes. Tip. Items and fluids can be dragged straight from JEI to the filter slot. Really? Is that still a thing? <gasps> it is. <gasps> that works in 116.3? I need to learn how to do this. I need to learn how to do this. I need to learn how to do this. That also might be a spoiler alert. That is cool right there. Slot interaction. Plus one right click. Shift is times two. Middle click equals zero. So if I want to keep 32 in here, right, that's cool. So let's say we want to keep 32 dirt inside this chest, right? And I right click this, providing items. Yeah. Um, whitelist. So if I turn off whitelist, it goes into blacklist mode, right? And then, yeah. Sweet. So now I just, I presume, place this drone in the world and he will be all, I'm going to go take care of my tasks and I'm going to carry items over for you. Hey, good job, drone. He did it. Look. Boom. Boom. Drone did it. Good job, drone. Proud of you. Now, if I take 16 out of here, what he should do is be like, oh, I've got a task. Done and done. That is what's up. That is what's up. And then he's going to be like, oh, there's dirt available. Do do do. Go do the ding. I like. Dire like. Nice. And it supports liquids. I don't know if you guys saw. Right? So if I. Like, not that this is a fluid. Wow, look at that. Fluid filter. Whew, that's a lot of things. That is very nice. That is very nice. And I also think that he will recharge himself automatically, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. And if we want to, you know, but I'm pretty sure at least in previous versions. Oh, hello. <laughs> Nobody tell Soren about that right there. Okay. Nobody tell Soren what just happened. Shh. I said, don't tell him. That is a secret. That is a secret between us. Okay. Nobody tell him about that. Okay. Nobody tell him about that. But no, that's cool. I like that a lot. That is a super neat system. Um, so then I presume active provider and default storage frame. Like the storage frame, this stores items from a logistics network that are provided by a logistics active provider frame. It has lower priority than a storage frame, making it suitable to be used for default chest purposes. It also has, it will also provide items to the storage frames. Oh, that's cool. And then logistics storage frame stores items from a logistics network provided by a logistics active provider frame. Cool. So if we wanted to remove this, we would shift right click it. Goodbye. And then yellow dude goes in, right? And you're going to be storing items, right? So let's say like, we'll say diamonds, right? Diamonds go in here. And then we'll have a separate chest with default frame. And this guy, I presume, does he just not have a UI or he does, he does. Whitelist. We'll make him an empty whitelist, right? And this guy will be a whitelist. Okay. And then you are going to shift right click and we'll use the active provider frame. And I'm guessing these are... Okay, cool. Yes, this I love too. I love mods that do this, that make it so that you can easily clear. See, like this remembered my whitelist of 32 dirt. Right, but I can clear that and then it'll stack and it'll go back to non-NBT. Right, is that is that pretty cool? I think that's pretty cool, right? So then you are going to be providing an empty whitelist. So you provide everything that we put in here, right? So if I were to get diamonds and uranium, let's do that. Boop, 
Badoop, and levers. All right, Mr. Drone is like, hey, diamonds going here, everything else goes over here. Pretty good times right there, folks. Pretty good times. I like, I like, you guys like? What do you guys think? Is that cool? I think it's cool. I loves me a good logistic system, and this one definitely has the makings of one, for sure. Like a nice, straightforward sorting system. Uh, so then there's also collector drones, which we want to take a look at, right? And that's going to fill up nice and quick. Sweet. Now the collector drone, and I really need to eat something because it's been a it's been a while. Where's my food? I'm like super hungry. Um, so you, Mr. Collector Drone, I presume would like pick up items that are just on the ground. Oh yeah, look at that. Sweet. And then are you gonna deliver them somewhere? Are you gonna deliver them somewhere? I might need to GPS tool this. I might need to GPS tool him. I'm thinking that's what's up, right? Um, let's let's try that. Collector drone, GPS tool. Right, and we're gonna say that you're gonna go in boop, GPS tool coordinates set. And you, sir, range upgrade. Ooh, that's cool. Do you get the GPS tool? I feel like you would. I should probably look at collector drones and how they work. That's what I'm thinking. Collector drone is a specialized non-programmable type of drone which can be deployed or next to any inventory. It will collect nearby items and put them in that inventory. Like any other drone that require air to operate, will automatically seek out a targeting station if low on air. Uh, some basic item filtering functionality, if placed on an inventory, i.e. shift clicked against the inventory block, it will filter any items that are already in that inventory. If the inventory is empty, it won't filter items. If placed next to an inventory, it also won't filter items. If you want to change what the drone filters, you need to wrench it and redeploy it. Okay, that's cool. So I don't actually have to use the GPS tool like I thought. I just place it adjacent to set inventory, and then he's ready to pick up items and put them in the inventory. Ah, nice. And then that drone is like, hey, I'm going to go sort it. Exactly what I would have hoped to see. Right? All right, guys, do your jobs. They are. They're doing it. That's cool. I like it. That's pretty spiffy. All right. And then what other types do I have? Harvesting drone. An airborne robot which harvests any fully grown crop within a 17 by 17 area centered around the deployment position. When placed on an inventory, it will pick up a hoe and replant any crops that have been harvested. It requires a hoe to function. <sighs> That's cool. That's cool. Let's get a hoe. Get a hoe, please. We're gonna get a diamond hoe, because that is always necessary. And a good decision. Right? So then what we could do is, right? Let's come over here with, let's come over here, right? I think I wanna pick up my logistics drone. Nope, totally did not get inferior essence from that, I promise. Right? Do I have a little farm somewhere? Feel like I do. I do. Think he would be uh, kind enough to potentially. Let's do this, right? So let's do a chest, right? And I should go get all those provider doohickeys and frames and whatnot. Okay. And you, Mr. Collector guy, I'm gonna need you too. Okay. Cool. And we're gonna come over here 
and we're gonna say that you are an active provider, boop, and you will be not whitelisting, okay? And then we will have um, two logistics storage frames, one here and one here, and you and you. And you will be a whitelist, and you will be a whitelist. And we'll filter this once the drone picks up items, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hoe in here, and we will get our harvesting drone here, and we will get our collecting drone here, and you hopefully recognize it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ah, ah that's cool. Ah, ah, that is awesome. That is pure cool. So I would like the hemp seeds to be stored in here, if you don't mind. And then you will get the fully grown hemp. Perfect. And then we'll put our logistics drone down right there-ish and he should sort for me. Look at him go! Look at him go. Good job. Now, he did a bad job of replanting, even though I gave him a hoe, right? Wasn't that, wasn't that your deal? Harvesting drone? Um, oh, it also works on tree harvesting, by the way. If you deploy the harvesting drone by shift right clicking it against an inventory containing only any a of any type, a hoe of any type, the drone will use that hoe to automatically replant the crops. It will not attempt to do any work with the hoe equipped. Ah. Ah. You have to shift right click it. That's why. So I have to shift right click it against here, right? Harvesting drone, shift right click it against. Now he's got the hoe. There's your thing, right? And then we can go put you guys. Okay. And what I'll do is I will say that you, sir, will get seeds and you will get wheat. Cool. And that looks good to me. Cool. And then if there's a watering can in the house, that is a slow watering can. That is a slow watering can, but the, it's getting there. It's getting there. All right, somebody should be making his way over here now. Fully grown wheat seeds. Look, fully grown wheat seeds. Fully grown lots of things. Let's go, collector drone, where are you? Oh, there he is. Hey, there he is, he's working. Cool, and look, yes, he did replant the seeds. We can see that happened, right? And then collector comes and gets the items, and then logistics guy sorts the items. That is kinda cool. I like Pneumatacraft. Those drones are neat. Those drones are super neat. Now, I don't think they have a huge range. At least they didn't in previous versions. So they're probably going to run out of... They're going to run out of air over here. Um, but that's, you know, not the end of the world. That's fine. It's all good. It's all good. I was just playing with them, and I like them. And I think that they're great. So what do you guys think about Pneumatocraft drones? Because I think they're pretty cool. I love, I love the idea of an entity-based logistics system. I wish Minecraft handled entities a little bit better. Just me. But, um, you know, because invariably entities have problems, right? But I like these ones, and I think they're cool. For now, Doll20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, we saw a lot of Pneumatocraft, so we might switch it up to another mod next episode. We might not. We'll find out. It's a big surprise that I will um, also be surprised about. And we know how basic drones work. Well, not really, but we can probably guess because they're programmable. Maybe we'll look at that. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, Doll20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. 
Take it easy.